Hi guys, it's Brantley. Take a look at this worksheet. It's a lot of information. I know when I first looked at this worksheet, I thought, wow, what is this? I, I don't understand it. There's too much here. So I know when you look at this, it's hard to understand. So today we're going to take some time and I'm going to show you what this is and make it easy to understand so that you know how to use this worksheet to help you read uh, the articles that we're going to read this term and understand this reading strategy reflection worksheet step by step. The reading strategy reflection worksheet is divided into global reading strategies, monitoring reading strategies, and support reading strategies. If you use these strategies, it will help you a lot in reading the articles that we're going to read this term. So let's get started. We are going to go through these three reading strategies, global reading strategies, monitoring reading strategies, and support reading strategies, and look at how to use questions and actions to help us understand the articles that we're going to be reading this term. All right, let's get started with global reading strategies. Global reading strategies are strategies that we're going to use before reading. If you look at the worksheet, they are the strategies that are in blue. Our worksheet is divided into questions and actions, and we'll talk about that part in just a second. But first, let's just look at the blue part of the worksheet and see what are global reading strategies. What do we want to do before reading? We want to identify goals and the purpose for reading. We want to preview, predict, connect the text to background knowledge. We want to connect one part of the text to the other. We want to skim and we want to create mental images. The next thing we want to do is while we're reading, we want to use monitoring reading strategies. These are uh, strategies that we use during reading. And while we're reading, we want to monitor main idea comprehension. We want to look for, un, uh, we want to identify difficulties. We want to underline and highlight important information. We want to take, take steps to repair faulty comprehension, take notes, paraphrase information, outline information. We want to reread difficult passages. We want to use our dictionaries. We want to guess the meaning from context. Sometimes we want to translate, uh, even mental translation, and we also want to judge how well our objectives are met while we read. Finally, after we read, we want to use uh, support reading strategies. These are strategies that we will re use after reading. After reading, we want to reflect on what we have learned. We want to make in inferences. We want to answer comprehension questions. We want to critique the author and the text. We want to summarize what we've read. We want to synthesize what we've read. And we want to ask questions about what we've read. With these three strategies, global, monitoring, and support, uh, we can use these to really help us understand what we're reading. Now, we want to to break this down into questions and actions. So for each of these strategies, we want to move from questions to actions. So let's look at examples from the reading strategy reflection handout. So to begin with, our first example is a global reading strategy. So before we read, we want to preview what we're going to read. So the question that we would ask ourselves is, uh, what kind of knowledge does this article want to show me? Uh, what can I learn from the headings and the images in this article? Uh, how long is the article that I'm going to read? So that's the question I can ask. And so what actions can I do that will support this? I can read the headings. I can read the subheadings. I can examine the pictures, the images, the charts, or tables to determine what the article is about and I can estimate the time that it's going to take me to read the article. So that's an example for a global reading strategy. Let's move on to while we're reading. So monitoring reading strategies, an example here is uh, 
how do I monitor main idea comprehension? So first we're going to ask ourselves a question. Uh, I can ask myself, can I identify and write the main idea for this paragraph or this section? And what can I do is I can write a simple main idea for every difficult paragraph that I encounter. All right, and finally, we're going to look at a support example. Uh, summarizing, uh, the question that I can ask myself is, how would I answer the question, what, is the, what was the article that I read about? And the way I can do that is to write a summary. Now, if you look at your handout, you will see all of these examples on your handout. So these are just examples from the handout. If you're reading from left to right, you will see these in the different sections, in the global section, the monitoring section, and the support section. So this is just a, a, a guideline as to how to read this handout, what this handout is about, and how this handout works. Now the application of this handout is we're going to use this handout uh, for uh, working through the articles that are uh, for, uh, for the research that we're doing this term. So we're going to use these articles for practice and we'll use these articles for our topic, for our theme, for this research this term. Uh, I will give you those articles on Blackboard and uh, we will use those articles in class. So thanks and good luck and see the handouts and articles in Blackboard and for homework. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Please let me know and I will see you soon. Thanks guys.